is this function linear or nonlinear? First, we'll show you how you can get the answer um, without graphing, and then we'll see about why we can trust this method. The way you do it is um, you go through, you take the first two rows of the table, and you use the slope formula to get the slope. So you plug in your y's and your x's, find out what the slope is. You can do it all with a calculator. It makes it really simple. And so you know that the slope between these two rows is 3. The problem is, is we don't know if the slope is the same down here. So the next step is, is that you slide down one row, not two, but just one. And so instead of using rows one and two, we'll use rows two and three. Okay. And again, we got to go find the slope using these two rows. So again, you plug in your y's, plug in your x's, and find out what the slope is. If you get the same slope as what you had before, you slide down one more row. So instead of using rows 2 and 3, we'll use 3 and 4. Plug them into your, your slope formula. And amazingly, we get the same slope all the way down. So it's a linear function if you get the same slope every single time. Not most of the time, every single time. If you ever get a different slope than what you got previously, you would say, oh, that would be nonlinear. So why can we trust this method of, of checking the slope all the way down the table? Let's just go graph each one of these um, ordered pairs. Negative 1, 5, we'll put in red right there. And 0, negative 2 is right there. If you check the slope between these two dots, and let's just zoom in on it, you can see that you would go up 3 and to the right 1. And that is the same slope between the red dot and the green dot that we found over here on the table, right? So it matches up. The, the graph is matching up to what we did earlier. Now, in order to keep this a straight line, that slope has to um, be constant. And that means that if you got 3, 1 for your first slope, you know, up 3 into the right 1, we need to keep going. So let's take a look at 1, 1. Here it is there. The line connects, but what's the pattern between the green dot and the blue dot? Up 3 to the right one, it's the same slope. It's constant. That slope is constant. It means it's the same. So now let's take a look at 2, 4, and we'll graph that, and we'll see it's the exact same slope again. So if you get the same slope again and again, then the line is still straight. The slope is constant, and that's the reason we would say that if you get the same slope all the way down in this table, that we could trust that this line would indeed be straight. So that's why. If it's always the same slope, we know it's linear. Let's take a look at a nonlinear equation now. Um, same thing, you know. Um, first two rows, plug them in, get you a slope. That'd be three fourths. Move down one row and check the slopes again. If you get the same, if I get three fourths this time, uh, we keep going until we get to the bottom of the table. If I get a different slope, then that means it's nonlinear. So here we go. Move down to rows 2 and 3. Plug them into our formula. And I get a totally different slope. This is positive 3, and up here is 3 fourths. So we would say it's not the same slope. It's nonlinear. I can stop. And why does this work? Let's go graph negative 4, negative 5. It's right here. Let's go graph 0, negative 2. And so the line between these two dots has a slope of 3 fourths. We would go up 3 and to the right 4. So there's that 3 fourths in close up motion there. Okay, But when we go to graph this third one, and remember using the red and green right here, we got a slope of 3. Let's go graph that green dot. See how it's going to bend this line? Uh-oh. If that line is bent we would say it is not linear. Different slopes bend the line, and so it's a nonlinear. And so that's why you can trust if you get different slopes that you go, oh, it's not a straight line. So one last recap here. Let's go get the uh, slope for the first two rows of both of these examples at the same time. And then we slide down and get the slope from the second and third rows. The linear example, you'll notice they have the same slope. The nonlinear example, they have different slopes. 
And so that's how you're going to run this little exercise. And again, just so you can see it, let's go graph all three dots simultaneously from both graphs. The blue dots, put in there. The red dots, put in there and connect it with the line. And now the green dots. As you can see, the linear example, no matter what, they still are straight. In the nonlinear example, sorry, because you have different slopes, it's going to bend that line to where it can't be straight. It would be considered nonlinear.